Hi guys, so um, this is my second month update of my IUD. Um, everything's pretty much good. I'm still having the anxiety. I'm still having the depression, but it's not as bad. Uh, I'm having breakouts on my face. <laughs> I'm ha I, you guys can't see them, but I can tell. Um, I'm having like pimples here and there. Uh, I had my first period, which is really crazy, honestly. Um, but I forgot what it was to have a period because like on my hair, it completely stopped. And with the heavy bleeding, it does, I don't count as a real period because like for me, if I keep bleeding more longer than a week, I just kind of like, I just kind of phased out of there. But it started in my lower back. I was like, why am I having these cramps? And then I thought it was my nerve pain again. So that's why I was like ignoring it. And I have a pain in my thigh and my legs. I'm like, what is this? And then my stomach started hurting, and I was like, it was like keying in again until I started bleeding. And I was like, I was kind of nervous because I was like really expecting things from the past to really be brought up. But um, it was lovely, honestly. I didn't, I don't have to use one pad the whole day because it wasn't that bad. And when I changed it, it was pretty good. Um, but because, like, my underwear will kind of, like, slip out of place with my pad. I will bleed on my underwear, and I will bleed on my bed. But it wasn't that bad to where I had to, like, fully, like, get a whole new whole new mattress. I did change my sheets or use peroxide. But other than that, it wasn't that bad. So, um, after I had that, I had, like, a little bit. I don't, I don't think I had any spotting. I don't think I did. I don't remember I did. But after that, I kept checking and checking myself, my underwear, and I was like, is it? But um, I haven't had really another period yet. I was told that um, I will have periods every now and then or have spotting every now and then. But I'm supposed to fully stop bleeding. But my first month was just like constant bleeding and I was like, will this stop? Can it stop? But now I'm pretty much enjoying it because I don't really have a period, really, honestly, and it feels great. Uh, I am going to bring pads with me just in case because like, um, I don't want to start like running me bleeding again for like no reason, but I'm still getting over the whole tiredness issue because, like, uh, with this whole cancer journey, even though I'm cancer-free, I'm still having some of the symptoms. And one of the symptoms I'm having is being really tired. Like, any kind of physical activity, I always knock myself out. Like, and I started working again. And I'm working, but uh, it seems like I'm running a full-on marathon. I just feel really, really tired. And as the, I work a whole week, like a whole five days, and as I'm working, it's like I'll, I'll have energy for like two or three days, and the last four days or two days or whatever, whatever it is, I like I have no energy. And some weeks it's like the full for the full week I won't have energy. So I'm not sure what to do because like when I work out, I have no energy. Um, it's like if I stay at home and be in my bed all day, I have energy, which is really weird. But like, I'll, I'll take a nap. I took like a four hour nap and I woke up, I'm still tired. So I'm not sure why that is. I know like one day I slept, I was on and off sleeping the whole day. And then I messed myself up and I couldn't sleep for a couple days. So I'm going to talk to my doctor again and ask her like, why is this happening? I don't know why that's happening at all. Um, it's very confusing to me, but I want to. I don't know if anybody has this type of cancer or dealt with this type of cancer. Like, has anybody like have this or just cancer in general? Like, once you guys like got done, do you guys have your energy back? Because I know I was. I know I was also sick, and when I was sick, I had like no energy. And I'm just not recovering from being sick. This is my first cold in a while since COVID happened. And then when I got down with cancer, it seemed like it seemed like my immune system was just like, you know, all down. So um, I'm not sure when my immune system is going to come back up. 
I don't know because like usually like with me with the cold um it takes like two weeks for me to go over a cold but this took me like a whole month to get over this cold and I was very confused I was still having I'm still having some kind of congestion because like when I talk I still have it but it's not as bad as it was but I'm not sure really what to do. But if you guys have any answers to that, please let me know. But second week, second month of IUD, it's been pretty good. I make sure to like, favorite, and comment. If you guys have any answers to my questions. Um, and please watch my other videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.